Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Kaz Has, the show where I try and show off some games that you should be aware of that are usually indie, sometimes not. Um, this one in particular is an indie game being developed by a guy who used to not be so indie. His name is Frank Force. He uh, has worked on a bunch of AAA games. But what we're, here, what we're here to talk about is this one. This is a pre-alpha build of his game, The Corridors of Uncertainty. Uh, it is a action, it's a twin stick shooter, action roguelike. Uh, the roguelike elements, let's just go through the elements of the two genres. So far in this, there's not a whole lot of roguelike because I assume he's just trying to get the whole thing to come together and be playable before you can start adding elements because it's kind of a pain when you're designing a game to have randomly generated levels and this is all randomly generated the level and uh, enemy placement and I assume yeah even the weapons they have because you pick up whatever weapons your enemy has and you uh, acquire them into your inventory and use them against the enemy uh, what are the roguelike things that this have? This has one life. When you die, you start over. I would argue that's also an arcade game kind of feature. What I was really hoping to see, but it's obviously... It's probably going to be in the game, I'm going to assume. Is bosses and power-ups that will modify everything, but it's not in yet. So far, it's just the weapons you see that you pick up from enemies, and then you have... Um, the green crates, which have health, there is regenerating health, but it only regenerates up to the point of how much health you've collected. So you're basically banking health for it to regen later. You also have energy, which only shows up when you're using it, so I'll use my boost. You do have a boost to move a little bit faster, because if you can see, these levels are pretty big. Pretty darn big. Uh, and that's awesome. Let's see if I can smash this box. So far, the crates only have points in them, which are represented by, like, sparklies. Um, there's only three enemy types in here right now, but he said he's going to add more more enemies, more sounds, more weapons, more everything, basically. This is just a prototype. But I just wanted to show it off, because it's pretty simple right now. Pretty bare bones right now. But I've been playing it. I probably logged, like, six hours into this game. It's a hell of a lot of fun. And I haven't beaten it. I know there's people out there on, uh... I found this game on Reddit. And there's dudes on Reddit who are like, Oh yeah, I beat this in my first try, it's easy. And, yeah. Uh... I'm not really that much of a tryhard. I just like to kind of shoot things and have fun. Uh, the challenge in this game comes from having limited ammo. Oh, those blow up when you shoot them. It's basically trying to dodge bullets, which is made all the easier by pushing down the left stick. You can slow down time. But that jarring's energy. Uh, you can also hit the Y button and stun everybody in a circle. Which is only so useful. Um, I do find the aiming is a little bit more accurate using the mouse, because you can use the mouse and keyboard with this. But for right now, I like to use the controller just because, I don't know. It's a lot easier. It's more I like to like sit back and relax with the controller sometimes. Uh, usually when I use the mouse and keyboard for games, it's first-person shooter, and that's not really relaxing to me. It's usually Counter-Strike where I'm freaking out. But, uh, this kind of game's a hell of a lot of fun. So far, there are traps, kind of like this. Um, when the beam is fully lit and you step in, it shoots at you. I think... There's another ability you have where you hit the B button and you just explode. And, oh, by the way, all the levels are destructible. Which is another thing that kind of blew my mind for it being a pre-alpha. But, uh, especially in a randomly generated game, like, level game, that's pretty freaking rad. Uh, you do have to reload your weapons. And I always forget to do that. There's there's a variety in the weapons here. There's, uh, the hand cannon fires three times the damage per bullet, but you only have six rounds of clip. The machine gun has recoil and has 25 rounds of clip, doesn't do as much damage. And the shotgun, which is a shotgun. Uh, there's also a rocket launcher and an en energy sword, which allows you to shoot bullets back at people. Maybe we can find one of those, but it is randomly generated, so I can't really promise anything. What else is awesome about this game? You do collect key cards. I don't think it's really working right now. That's why I said I think you only have this power 
for the uh, for the pre-alpha because otherwise you never get through that door if the level decides not to spawn that key or if you just never find that key but for right now the key cards just seem to be lying about the level but the levels are huge so it's kind of hard to find them something like the self-exploding thing and the flash thing that seems like something you'd maybe pick up as an item drop especially in a roguelike style game where you usually don't have any powers to begin with but you gain them as you play the game but for right now uh doesn't seem any of the, like any of that kind of stuff is in yet. Let's see if I can tunnel through here, because I don't want to take forever. But for right now, it's been a lot of fun in combat. Right now is kind of a weird situation where I used up all my energy showing stuff off, and now I can't get through. So I'm just going to go take the long way around. And, uh... But yeah, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. This is actually a hell of a lot of fun for being a pre-alpha. Oh, let's see if I can find some more guys. So far, I've been just kind of entering rooms and strafing sideways, because, yeah. Uh, one of the things I did notice is that aiming between, uh, basically, the cardinal directions is a little sketchy, but it has auto-aim. So, like, the bullets will kind of curve um, off that line, but if you want to, like, kind of line up a shot, it's really hard to actually, like, be really, really accurate with the controller right now. But, it, it, honestly, it could just be my controller. I don't know. Um... Because this one's pretty old and I need a new one anyway. So I, I can't really fault it for that. It could just be on my bad. Ah, uh, it's so much fun. Well, these gray doors just open. The blue guys have random weapons. And there's red guys. That are usually take more hits, but also have the same random weapons. Uh, the only real huge big bad danger that I always run into is... Guys with rocket launchers just annihilate you. It is so hard. I mean, it's really easy to dodge if you're using, if you're actually like paying attention. But who pays attention? I just like shooting stuff. I kind of see how the health works in the lower, lower left-hand corner. I have 0.2 on health bars worth of health um, regen, and it'll drain until it fills up as much as it can. But I need to pick up more health packs if I want to live any longer. That flashing red dot on the map is the exit. Uh, one thing I do miss out of this is... Oh, see, I don't have the green key card, so I'd have to go all the way back. But I can just explode. So that's fine. Uh, if I had a rocket launcher, I could also just blow up the wall that way. So if that power-up didn't exist, there is another way to get through. Uh, I just think... I, I just assume it's that way for the, al the pre-alpha, because... Otherwise, it'd be just kind of a pain in the ass just to get through the levels. But, uh, yeah. Let's see how far I can go in a run. I'm actually almost dead. Some of the trolley things that I did find is that sometimes when you spawn per level, there'll be a trap or something. Like, I just assume there's gonna be a bunch of guys out here. Let's see. Oh, uh, no. Not this time. Uh, sometimes when I've spawned before, one of those laser traps are right on top of you. Oh, yep. Yeah. We haven't seen any of the robots yet. The robots are kind of a pain in the D2. That just adds variety to the combat, and that's always welcome. Because right now there's not a whole lot of variety, but when you get a bunch of guys together in a room, it gets... Oh, see, he can deflect bullets back at me. The AI is not that smart, and the first few levels are pretty easy, but once you get to, like, level 4, it gets really hard. And I'm out of ammo in that. You're also kind of beholden to, um... I don't know, you kind of want to... Oh, here's some of the robot guys that shoot explosives. See, they kind of track you down. Explosions! Run! Let's reload this. Get back here. Let's try to clear this out a little bit. I wanted to get that sword. Oh, can I pick it up? Yeah, I can. And I, too, can... Uh, Oh, I can throw... I don't even know you can throw the sword. That's new to me. Let's see if I can throw it at this guy. Oh, I missed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Give me my handgun. Give me my machine gun. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but for right now, it's just a five-level demo. Uh, Basically, a score attack mode. He said he wanted to add more modes and all sorts of things. But so far, man, this has just been a heck of a lot of fun. For a game that's really on development, it really shines through, like, what it could be. And that guy's a rocket launcher. 
Those are dangerous. Woo. I just feel like kind of a badass, but I'm very quickly running out of ammo at the same time. Let's see here. Oh, I can get the rocket launcher. Oh, I already had one too. That's good. Eat rockets. Eat rockets. Oh, I missed. Those green guys just kind of like, kind of want to just run up and hug you the whole time. Come hug me. Come hug my shotgun. Oh, geez. I'm shooting myself, effectively. Ah. Well, that's all I really have to show off about this game. Uh, it's really freaking fun, and I highly recommend it. It does play well with the mouse and keyboard, and it is the pre-alpha is free. Uh, all he really wants is feedback, and I'll provide a link to the subreddit and his website, so you can provide feedback after you play the game. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.